What is dollar cost averaging? Investing set amounts at regular intervals over time, also known as dollar cost averaging. Dollar cost averaging is the practice of investing a fixed dollar amount on a regular basis regardless of the share price or the crypto price. It's a good way to develop a disciplined investing habit, be more efficient in how you invest and potentially lower your stress level as well as your costs. Let's say you invest $100 every month. When the market is up, your $100 will buy fewer shares or crypto. But when the market is down, your money will buy more. Over time, this strategy could lower your average cost per share or coin or token compared to what you would have paid if you bought all your shares or crypto at once when there were more expensive than the average. Again, we see that dollar cost averaging is the practice of systematically investing equal amounts of money at regular intervals, regardless of the price of a security or a commodity. Dollar cost averaging takes the emotion out of investing by having you purchase the same small amount of an asset regularly. This means you buy fewer shares or crypto when prices are high and more when prices are low. The strategy of dollar cost averaging involves making regular investments with the same or similar amount of money each time. Dollar cost averaging is the process of purchasing an investment on a regular schedule. An example is a 401k where an employee contributes the same amount each month. The reason that I'm making this video is because I've seen far too often on YouTube, on X, on Discord, on all sorts of places, that people are talking about DCA, DCA is the way, DCA all the way. And what they're actually doing is not DCA. You want to know what DCA is? Go back to the beginning of the video. The thing is, if you have 20, 30, 40 cryptos and every Wednesday you split $100 between two or three of those cryptos in some arbitrary haphazard selection process, that is not DCA. And then as far as buying the dip, you know, a dip is anytime the price goes down, whether the price goes down 1%, 5%, 10%, 20%, that's a dip. A better question would be, do you think that there's going to be a retracement or a dip in the short term? or the maybe the midterm, you know, before too long? Is there going to be another buying opportunity at a lower price? That would be, I think, a sensible question. Another question, which makes a lot of sense, is what is your buy zone? You know, what price does a coin or token need to reach before you are comfortable investing into that coin or token? Whether you're not yet invested and are looking to get invested into that coin or token project, or whether you already are a holder and you want to accumulate more, but at a better price. Or maybe you made the mistake of accumulating at a high price and you're waiting for a sizable dip so that you can buy more in order to lower your average cost basis. These things all make sense. But anytime you see people misusing terms like DCA, I mean, this is not a complex term. If a person can't properly explain and demonstrate DCA, you should probably think twice before you follow that person any longer because it's a very basic thing. And if somebody says, you know, something else equally as wild, like, well, what defines a dip? You should probably find somebody else to have these conversations with moving forward.